By the way, guys, here is the winner of the last RP giveaway. Boom, there he is. Also, if you do want to enter in the RP giveaway in this video, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below whatever you want. And just like that, you are entered into the RP giveaway. Also, guys, this video is pretty insane. I hope you guys watch till the end. I guarantee it's going to be worth it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, guys. Yo, what is up, guys? Ghostlane here. And today, we are going to be doing a Do They Deserve It, where we place lower ELO players in high ELO games and see if they actually deserve the rank that they think they deserve. You know how bronze or silver players are always saying, you know, I deserve diamond, I deserve challenger, I play like this, I play like that. Today, we're going to put that to the test and see if they actually deserve the rank that they think they deserve. Today, we have Eric. What's up, Eric? Hey. Now, Eric, why do you think you deserve diamond? I mean, I am able to uh, play fairly well in my rank, and then I I believe I could still play fairly well in the high elo. So diamond, yeah. right? Yeah. And what champions do you play? I play Katarina mainly. Katarina? Do you yeah. play anything else? I could play Azir and other mid laners, but Katarina. And uh, what rank are you right now? I'm silver one at the moment. Silver one? Uh, what's your highest rank you've ever been? Gold five. Gold five. Um, did you recently demo or what happened? Oh, uh, uh, I was gold five last season. I got placed into silver one. So you think if I placed you in a diamond game like right now, you'd be able to carry or do well? Yeah. Like confidently? I believe so. All right, let's do it. Eric, let's place you in a diamond game. Good luck, man. Um, all right, good luck, man. Thank you. All right, guys, we are in game one. Looks like Eric is playing Katarina in the top lane. Looks like his Zach is ganking. Um, Zach misses the knockup, but he does get the Q off. Pantheon goes for the flash. Doesn't ignite. Wait, does he have No, he has TP, never mind. Um, looks like Zach might be in a bad spot here. Okay, Natalie goes for the flash. Uh, Zach's fine. Oh, he's gonna die here. Or no, sorry, passive. Um, Katarina does have TP up. She should be able to TP and save Zach here. Oh, okay, that was... Oh, okay, he gets a double kill though, so that's really, really good. Um, but over here, I feel like Katarina could have TP to save Zach. Maybe he didn't feel like, maybe he didn't see the smite coming. Like he was saving it for like last second, right? Maybe that, maybe that could have been, yeah, that probably could have been a misplay. I'm not really sure why he froze here. Is he typing to Katarina? I think he's typing to Katarina, or not Katarina, sorry, Zach. Um, Pantheon gonna be able to TP back pretty easily. Uh, he's just gonna back off here with the gold that he has. So far, a 2 0 start. Pretty freaking good. Especially against a Pantheon lane because this lane can be pretty oppressive. Uh, Pantheon just spams Q, right? Um, so far, a really, really good start, though. A double kill. Alright, looks like Eric is about to get. Yeah, he's about to get dove. Looks like Galio did roam. I don't know if this is Ash's fault for not calling MIA or Eric's fault for not, for not noticing that Galio is MIA. In the first place, usually whenever a Galio is MIA and you're low under turret, it's usually like a warning saying like, I'm probably going to get dove here, right? Galio has really, really good roam potential with his R, right? And he doesn't even have to R there. He just like literally walked a lane. Over here, I feel like he should have probably backed off and just realized, oh shoot, Galio's MIA. I can't be here. Um, okay, they're taking Infernal. Zach's like doing Krugs. Okay, that's, that's good to, okay, that's good by Ash to stop that. That's really good. That's really good. So Eric is playing like Ring Around the Rosie with Pantheon right now. Uh, but the thing is though, Galio's coming. There's the Galio R. Uh, I think he's dead here, no? Tal Galio still has taunt. I think he's definitely dead here, yeah. He's trying to run to the minions, but he can't. He gets taunted. Dies to the Pantheon crit chance. Um, I don't know what I could say here. Maybe like, he kind of overstepped. Um, I, feel, I feel like right now what he should be doing is just trying his best to stay in a turret and just not die. Try to get to that mid-game power spike. Uh, his team is getting crushed, though. His bot lane is just, like, inting. Wait, I don't even know how bot lane died. What? Like, what? I guess they're diving or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure why they would be diving in Janna. I'm not really sure what happened down here, but it just seems like it just went really poorly. I'm not really sure what happened. But his team is pretty behind. I think right now what he should really do is just look for picks and just look for farm. Because he has only 30 farm compared to Pantheon 60, right? So right now there's a huge team fight mid. What I think uh, Eric should do is just walk down immediately. I th okay, he's walking down, which is good. All right. Eric's coming, let's see what he does. Okay, Pantheon's ulting in. This should be, this should be good, no? This has to be in. Okay, baits it out, nice. Ooh, gets the ultimate. Oh my gosh, that taunt is so tilting. Both of them were like actually one HP. Okay, that, that was just a real tilter right there. Oh, that was really unlucky. I feel like, yeah, darn. Maybe if he came a little bit sooner, 
Um, I, I don't really think that he could have came sooner. Maybe if he walked, he walked like all the way around instead of just walking down. Maybe, I don't know actually. I don't know what I, I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it was just really unlucky. He is down 40 CS though in lane, so that's, that's kind of a yikes. I don't know, it's a Pantheon lane, so, yeah. Yeah, I think this game is uh, pretty doomed. Zach is like 0-4, mid laner is like 1-5, uh, bot lane just got stomped, dude. 2-6 and six and 0-4, oof. Yeah, I think this game, a summoner has disconnected as well, yeah. Zach reach quits. I think this game's really unlucky, like everybody's AFK, Katarina's trying to defend. Like, yeah, I think this game is just doomed. I think this was a really, really unlucky first game. Uh, I'm not saying that, like, uh, Eric played amazing or anything, but I feel like his team... He had, a, he had an Ash mid lane, and his bot lane just got whooped 2v2. Um, I don't know what I could say about this game. I feel like this is just a unlucky, unlucky game. But GG, let's go talk to Eric and see what he has to say for this game. I think this game was just really, really, like, super low quality. Like, you know you have those games where it's just coin flip. Like, you can't do anything, right? You get Rome done. It's just, uh, you can't do anything about it. I think it's one of those games. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like he was auto-filled top lane. So, maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe. Uh, it was a Pantheon lane. He couldn't really do much. Um, Pantheon rushed MR. Yaleo kept on roaming top lane. I feel like he couldn't really do much. Maybe maybe he should have looked for TP plays um, instead of staying in laning phase. His farm wasn't the best. He ended off with 72 farm compared to Pantheon's 150. All right, let's go talk to Eric. All right, guys, we are here after game one with Eric, and what a disappointing game, may I say, Eric. Um, your team just felt really, really uncoordinated. A ton of, like, a ton of mistakes everywhere. Your team just seemed really, really... It, it was just really, really bad. What are your thoughts about the game they just played in? Uh, how did it feel to play in Diamond? Uh, in the beginning, to be honest, I was pretty nervous. Uh, it was hard. And when I when my Zach ganked, I was kind of hesitating on whether I should TP or just fight. And then I just fought, and then I kind of let my Zach die, which was my first mistake. And then after that, um, I kept making small mistakes, and then my team also flamed each other and fed. Wait, your team flamed kind of... each other? Yeah. Who was flaming? Uh, my my Zach was flaming the uh, mid laner, and my ADC was also flaming the mid laner. And then my <laughs> ADC and support were like arguing about how good they are, and they were like checking their op.ggs in the middle of the game. Wait, did they did they ever flame you though, or no? I just didn't really say anything in the game. Oh, but did they okay. flame you? No, right? Uh, not really. Yeah, I didn't. They didn't. All right. All right. Okay, because I saw I saw Zach spamping you for assistance. I feel like he got kind of disappointed when you did a TP. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, he said, "Um, good job. That was a really nice choice." Like, I I felt like he was a good teammate, but then he got mad at the mid laner after, uh, he kind of like let the Zach die. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. You did like you got a double kill, but I think like. Your entire team, it was just, everyone just, everyone just did poorly on your team. So I don't think it, this game was your fault. I think that everyone did play poorly. You did make a couple of mistakes during laning phase, definitely. After laning phase, the game was pretty over. So I'm going to let you, are you down to play another one? Do you have time? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put you in another game. And um, I want to see how you do in another game. Because that, like, I feel like those games are really one-sided. And it, they're just really low quality games. Because not, not every single game is like that, but... And low diamond games can be like that. So I'm going to pitch you another game and hopefully things go better. Yeah. All right, good luck, man. Thank you. All right, guys, we are in a game two. Hopefully this game doesn't go as poorly as the first one. Um, you could you could easily just dodge the stun with your E. I think it's pretty easy to just hop over. Uh, also, he does have barrier to prevent the the one shot, right? Um, looks like Sejuani, I think Sejuani is going for a gank here. Um, okay, that was a really good bait from Vagar. Uh, okay, so Juani goes in here. He has barrier still. Okay, the barrier pops out. Ooh, flashes, gets the kill, gets the triumph proc. And also, holy crud! That's that was clean. That was that was actually amazing. That triumph proc, and the, okay, that was that was amazing. That not gonna lie, that was holy. Okay, that was oh my. Uh, that's 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 how you can tell somebody is a one trick. That's how you can tell. Usually, one tricks have a lot more mechanical skill than everybody in that elo. See a good Katarina here though. Like since he's playing mid lane, he's a lot. He's against an easier matchup now. He's against Vigar. 
he probably has experience leaning against, against Vagar. You know, as a Katarina player, you probably you probably know all the matchups really well. Uh, Sejuani is going to come again. She's Sejuani is level six now, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if Katarina's run run plans in this. Okay, goes for the flash. Or not flash. Sorry, goes for the ultimate. Um, okay, he should get triumph here. Yep. Oh my. Okay, I think she's just too strong at this point for them to even do anything. But it was a good try. Maybe if Vagar landed the stun. Because I feel like Vagar landing the stun after the Sejuani stun to like chain the CC would have been a lot better there. Um, and that just... That, that was pretty bad in terms of uh, the Vagar. And he didn't even have barrier up there. He didn't have any summoners and he just 1v2'd. That was, that was pretty good. But uh, he's just so far ahead now. I think the game's pretty over. He's doing really well on farm too. He has 90 farm compared to Vagar 60. Now, this is what I call a, a Katarina one trick right here. He knows the matchup. He knows how to play the lane. I think last game, it was it was because he was top lane. I think that laning against the Pantheon as a Katarina is just no fun. Laning against Vagar, it leaves you with a lot more room to do stuff, right? And that Sejuani messed up. So, he's literally 1v2ing the lane, actually. I haven't seen Lee Sin near mid once. Wow. Just wow. Oh, yeah. Here are all the ranks, by the way, on the screen. Uh, this Vagar has a really good win rate, so... Oof. Alright, so I think he finds... He finds Sejuani. Finds Sedge. Uses the Cutlass. Just one-shots her. Literally, Sejuani had Stopwatch there, too. Not sure why she's not using that. Um, dang, dude. The Sejuani and Vagar are just getting destroyed. So, so far he has 125, or he has 125 CS and he is 5 and L. But he goes for the dive here on Vagar. Kind of risky, not gonna lie. But I guess if you're this strong and you know your champion really well, you could do anything to be honest, right? Um, Janna goes for a ward. Oh my. Is he gonna get the kill here as well? If he does, I'm gonna be. Wow. Okay. I think this game is pretty much over. Like, once Ekaterina gets ahead. She's just too slippery and you can't really stop her anymore. Does he get the kill on Tristana? I don't think so. Does he have flash? He does have flash. But he's not going to go for it. He doesn't have R up right away. Maybe if he had R up, maybe he probably would have went for it. Um, he had, bo he had both summoners, but no R. So, I don't know. This is kind of weird. He has no minions. And he I think he's going for... Oh. Okay, I don't know about this one. So, he's diving in between tier 1 and tier 2 turrets. And... He has no minions, and he kind of just baited his team. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not really sure why. He... What? Oh, that was a good. That was a good. That was a good play by Liana. I think Tristan is dead here. Yeah, Tristan is dead. I think. It's really, really good. Um, that's how you throw a game, though. I'm not. I'm not sure why he went on that. Maybe. Okay. Maybe if you get. Okay. If you. You know how you get, like get really, really strong on a champion, right? You just want to go in all the time. You always want to make plays like that, right? I feel like that one was just a little bit too. Um, too overzealous, a little bit too ambitious, yeah. Like, ooh, ooh. Wait, is this the quadra kill? No way. He gets the quadra. I think he could go for the penta, right? Yeah, he can just go for the penta here. I think this is the penta, right? Maybe. Can he catch her? Oh, he can't. Dang. He didn't go for it, but he got a triple kill, so that's really good. He's eleven. He's ten and one. He's actually crushing. I feel like, okay, so Sejuani definitely messed up early. But dang, dude, Katarina is just so slippery. It's so annoying to, like, shut her down when she's that ahead. Katarina is just such a dumb champion. I hate versing Katarina's in solo queue because it's so hard to, like, just lock her down. She's just so slippery. Good Katarina's are the most annoying. They play super, super safe, and they, they, know, their, they know their limitations really, really well. Katarina did buy QSS, by the way, which is a good buy against this comp. You know, Sejuani, Vagar. You don't want to get CC in. Oh, a double kill? Can he get out? No, he just, he just gets ulted by a big guy. Garen have... Does Garen have Glacial Augment? Oh my. Wait, how did Garen solo kill Cat? Wait, how? Okay, I guess... Maybe... Oh, it was it because Katarina was marked there? I think it was. But I think the game's over anyway, so it doesn't matter. GG. Dang, Eric played phenomenal this game. 15 and 6, 200 CS. I actually wasn't expecting this, but to be honest, last game he did show some really good mechanics, but this game he actually showed incredible mechanics.
his mechanics were great. Maybe some decision making was a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit questionable. Um, but overall, I think he played extremely well. Wow. Really good job, Eric. All right, let's go talk with Eric, see what he has to say for the game. Holy crap. All right, guys, we are here after game two, and holy crap, dude. Eric, you actually just, like, 1v9 the game. What are your thoughts about the game that you just played, and how do you feel about playing in Diamond now compared to last game? Actually, I performed much better um, rather than last game where I was really nervous. This time, I after I got a double kill, I just, like, played, like, my regular games and then started popping off. So but the thing is... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I, the reason why I got fed was the mid laner made a mistake, and then that led to me getting fed, uh, getting a double kill. And then that's when the game was over, probably, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like um, you, you definitely popped off. You got a ton of kills, but there were some mistakes that were just like, oof, dude. I, why, why would you go for that? Like there was, there was like a, there was like a, a moment where you went in one v three dive mid lane without any minions, nothing when they were all HP against a Janna. Uh, can can yeah. you explain uh, what, what was going uh or what was going Honestly, on? Honestly, I I just sometimes do stupid stuff, which is why probably I am still silver. And I mean, you got to gold, so that's pretty good though. Gold's alright. I guess gold five, yeah. But but yeah, I overextended um quite a bit, and that led to me dying. I feel like you could have ended the game a lot quicker. Um, you were kind of yeah, you were making some really weird mistakes. Um, that, that I don't really see often, but um, I don't know, maybe, maybe, like, if you're really fed, you kind of go for those plays, right? Kind of get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I got cocky a couple of times. Yeah, you, <laughs> crushing those diamonds, dude. Yeah. That was, oh, you're, did you know that Vagar had a 70% win rate, by the way? I saw that, and I got really scared, but, uh. Yeah, that, I, that, I was, I was scared for you, dude. I was like, oh, dude, you're, uh, good luck, man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm glad that you did really well, and I definitely feel like you are a good Katarina player. Uh, maybe work on your macro and your, de your decision making, but your mechanics are like on point. And definitely, I feel like if you play consistently and you play a lot, you could hit easily, easily hit Diamond this season. Thank you. Like, easily. Like, super easily, honestly. Your Katarina's so OP. She like is getting mind. nerves, but yeah, that's, yeah. Katarina's pretty OP. All right, that's awesome, bro. All right, thank you for playing. Uh, I have one more question for you, Eric. If you had uh, the choice to do this again, would you? Definitely. It was really fun. It was really fun. And do, what do you think about Diamond right now? What do you think of it? You think they're garbage, <laughs> or do you think they no, got a long way like, to go? They're, they're really good, but uh, if, if I work hard enough, I, I, I could probably get to it, but I, I need to work on my uh, decision-making and map control. Yeah, man. Um, it should be it should be fairly easily, honestly, because like you can get just you can get diamond just with mechanics, though. You don't really need to know that stuff, to be honest. As long as you don't just go in and die, like it's fine. Like yeah, like ten times last game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about last game. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Thank you for coming on. Um, I appreciate having you and GG, man. Thank you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to be part of this video series, all you have to do is join my discord below. Um, also guys, to enter into the RP giveaway, you guys know what to do. Comment down below, be subscribed. Love you guys, go slain here, and I'm out. See you guys, peace. Also, um, Chinese potato. Yeah, alright, see you guys.